Hey everyone, and welcome to another Wolfboy video. My name is Joe Wolfboy, and in this video, I want to talk to you guys who have problems with your computer, who want to get the best out of it and the most FPS. So this is going to directly talk to those who have OEM systems from manufacturers like HP, Dell, Compact, etc, etc, and tell you how to upgrade your system, or at least the steps that I would recommend to getting a better system. So let's roll the intro and get right into it. All right, so first up is you need to make sure, let me, let me re-specify actually. This is for people who have desktop systems, not for people who have laptop systems because laptops are a little bit more in, in, intricate and I'm going to actually do a separate video about laptops and also my voice is still scraggly so um, if you want to see complete potato voice click up there um, in the little eye if I remember to put it there um, and you'll be able to see my G2A unboxing back on back onto the subject at hand which is um, you guys want to get the most out of your gaming experience and how do you do that? Well first of all you need to realize that not every system is upgradable. You need to realize that if you buy one component for, you know, your desktop computer, Dell computer, you have to realize that not everything is going to fit in that desktop computer. Um, so you need to make sure that you download a program called Specky. It's by Puriform, which is the same company that puts out the uh, cleaning program CC Cleaner um, or C Cleaner computer cleaner um, that link is down in the description I highly recommend Specky because it actually works so that aside um, now you have to understand that you know you have your system specs you have what you can do so what do you do next well you need to uh, take some dimensions of your system. Now realize that everything as far as computer parts is in metric. So if you are on the imperial scale, uh, like if you're in America or some parts in Africa, you do have to realize that it is in the imperial system. So you're going to need to learn how to use the metric units. So, sorry, it's in the metric units, not imperial units. God, that's confusing. Why we don't switch to metric? Don't know, another video for another day. Um, but millimeters and uh, everything, um, you are gonna need to learn um, uh, like the metric system if you want to get into um, kind of custom modding your computer, um, which I'm making this sound so much more difficult than it is. So let's just jump right into number one. Number one, if you are on a budget and you just want a quick upgrade so that you get the most FPS and you don't really care about loading times, throw in a brand new graphics card. Right now, the uh, GTX 1070 looks like the best deal. Um, however, you may want to wait until Pascal, or um, yeah, Pascal, I believe. Um, the AMD uh, platform, um, once that comes out, um, no, Pascal is, uh, NVIDIA, um, whatever the AMD platform is, um, you may want to wait until that comes out because it could offer a better deal because most of the time AMD is a lot cheaper. So, and it works pretty well with Intel components. So, but if you have an AMD processor in your computer, that may even be better because, AMD will automatically, especially if you have an like an A10 or an A6, um, like uh, AMD APU, usually it will uh, initialize Crossfire and allow you to have the built-on CPU graphics also matching up with your graphics card. So yeah, grab a graphics card. Again, measurements are very important. 
because if you sit down and you just say, oh, I want, you know, the GTX 980 Ti, you have the money, you buy it, but not always will it fit in your case. So if you aren't really worried about keeping on that case, maybe it's time to upgrade a case. That's up to you. That's more of a further down the line thing um, that I would highly recommend waiting until you're ready to actually upgrade your motherboard. Um, because if you go out and uh, just upgrade the case right away, not all OEM motherboards are meant to be removed and meant to fit in other cases. So be warned if you do that. Again, I'll address that later on in the case section of this video. Also, I will try to timestamp all of the different features so that you can jump between the videos, but know that I may explain stuff twice that may actually be important in other sections. So, you have your brand new GPU installed. What next? Well, the next thing that you're going to want is to upgrade your RAM. Usually, only OEMs will deliver 4 or 8 gigs default in their systems, especially if you're on a budget and you have to save some money. So go ahead, go out, use Speccy, and determine what DDR3 or DDR4, or in the case that it's an older system, DDR2, um, RAM that you have, the megahertz at the end, and what the maximum your board supports is. Desktop RAM, it's instantly available to you. It will tell you 1600 megahertz out of the box, or most manufacturers will usually put in 1333 megahertz RAM. Now, that probably went right over your head if you aren't technically savvy, um, and if you're watching this video wondering how to easily do stuff. So again, download that program, Speccy, down in the description, and install it to your system. What it will tell you is what effective memory speed you guys have right now on your system. Then simply do a quick Google search for your system's uh, specs and see what the maximum memory speed is that is supported on your board. If you're into like video creation and stuff like that, or if you are hot, if you are heavy into MMO or high-end open-world games, you may want to invest in faster memory, although as Linus Tech Tips pointed out in this video up here, memory speed doesn't matter, again, unless you are really pushing out content like I am. So what you want to do is actually look um, for similar RAM, um, and also when you look up your motherboard and see the max RAM, that's something that you need to pay attention to, because if you install 32 gigs of RAM and your board only supports 16, it will not boot, and you may actually have to spend some more money so that you can go and find out what's wrong with it when it was actually just not researching enough. So always, whenever you go through all this, research, research, research. Okay, so next, now that you have your RAM upgraded, your GPU upgraded, Something that I personally would highly recommend and that every other person on the YouTube space would recommend is upgrading your S upgrading to an SSD for your boot drive. Now again, you will have to do a clean install of Windows for this to actually work. Um, so simply get out that USB that came with your computer, reinstall Windows on that drive, and you are golden. Or if you have to, go on and buy another copy of Windows. For educational purposes, you can always use pirating um, to download an ISO, and then as long as you purchase an actual key, which you can actually get one from Kingwin, which you can get in the video description, that's only like 25 bucks, so why the hell not? All you have to do is reinstall Windows to that and have a second drive for your games, like a mechanical drive. Now, if you wanna spend a lot of money and future-proof yourself for the future, simply go through and uh, buy maybe a 500 gigabyte 840 EVO. However, personally, my SSD that I highly recommend is linked down below. It's a 120 gig, so it won't hold that many programs, um, but it'll hold Minecraft and a couple other 
uh, like basic programs and I still have like 60 gigs of storage left. So honestly, I could move a couple games onto it, but I just don't want to because keep in mind with SSDs, you have a limited read write cycle. Actually, you have unlimited write cycle, um, but usually if it's reading to the drive or reading from the drive, it's writing to the drive, some type of data. So always be careful to look for max min read write uh, of the drive because once that flash storage has that maximum out you are SOL so next you have your fancy SSD maybe a new hard drive if you click that other link and so now you're pretty much set you have a nice hard drive you have a nice you know RAM you have a nice graphics card you are golden but there's one thing that you need to do get an upgraded power supply there's one i believe it's about 75 to 80 dollars on amazon fully modular so that you can get rid of all the cable mess in your case it is linked in the video description now be warned that one does not have separate 20 plus 4 pin connectors so if your board does not support 24 pin and it has a 20 pin connector you will have to look for another motherboard um, another uh, power supply that supports 20 and the uh, four pin uh, disconnectable one. Uh, so upgrade your power supply. Link is in the description because that is the one that I used for Victor and it worked perfectly fine until I started overclocking stuff. Now you have all that. What's next? You may ask because the video still is going. It still has time. At like 15 minutes, we still have time. So what's next? Well, I mentioned that you'll need a new case at some point. But that's not right now. It's in the future. So if you want even more power, check your motherboard and make sure that you can install a third party cooler. That can get your CPU nice and crisp and cool and not make it thermal throttle. But on top of that, while you're pulling off your old fashioned CPU heatsink, again, third party coolers linked in the description. Highly recommend those two down there, air and water. Highly recommend the water one if there is room in your case, which not all cases support water cooling. So again, that's one of those viewer discretion is advised for that. Um, but in the case that your computer may only have, mm, hmm, it may only have an i5 or an i3 in it, check the video description for Intel Arc. Look up your CPU and its model number, and you can even do this through Speccy. If you uh, go to Speccy and you can find the model number of your CPU, simply copy and paste that into Intel Arc and see what the upgrade path is, if there is one. If there is, purchase the next available CPU if you have the extra cash, if you want the extra boost. But if it's like an i3 to i5, highly recommend. But if it's an i5 or an i3 to i7, make sure that you check that your motherboard supports it. But also, you may not wanna make the jump just yet, because if you're making that jump, you are future proofing yourself, yes, but you also need to make sure that your motherboard supports it, firstly, but secondly, you also need to realize that, um, yes, the older CPUs are cheaper, but they, drew, they do draw more power from the wall. So if you are in a high priced area for electricity, that price will go up. Um, so be careful when you are uh, purchasing an upgraded CPU for that motherboard Again, it may or may not support it, but definitely upgrade your cooler to one of the options down below. I will link all of the links that I was talking about throughout the video in the video description. Finally, we're on to the final stages of upgrading your computer to be the one to rule them all. So you don't like your old case anymore. It's gotten a little crowded since you've upgraded all the parts. So you know what? It's time to upgrade your case. 
I can't tell you what case that you should choose. Um, but personally, I like Fractal Designs cases. Um, so I will link a couple in the video description that I highly would recommend. Again, all of these are very subjective, so if you don't like any of them, don't buy them. That's completely up to you. But, do realize that most motherboards from OEMs don't have manuals. So if you're plugging in your front panel connectors, be careful, because sometimes that can lead to some problems. So, I just wanted to make this quick video to kind of outline how you can upgrade your system and also upgrade your gaming experience so that you can be a better gamer for how much you have. You don't need to have a million dollar system like I had. You can just start with a basic OEM system and work your way up to having a complete custom build. So with that all out of the way, thank you guys so much for watching. If you did like, smash that like button, share it with your friends, and all that good stuff. Also, don't forget to subscribe. I think I already said that, but subscribe. I do content like this every Monday, and then gaming content, again, hopefully, gaming content on Thursday. Don't know how well this is going to go, but we'll try our best. If you disliked, hit the dislike button, comment down below why you disliked, and if you have any more questions, comment down below, hit me up on Twitter, all that is in the description down below. So with all that out of the way, again, I want to thank everyone for sitting through this very long video, but I want to thank you guys so much, and I'll see you all next time. Yeah.